in the Iron Asylum with Petra Myrtle at Busy Body Fitness Center in Boca Raton, Florida. Petra, you are three weeks at this point. You're actually one week now, but when we shot the video, you're three weeks out of the Sarasota Pro Show, and we're going in there to train back. Um, right. You, this is not only – we're walking into Busy Body. This is not only a gym that you train yourself at, you and uh, Darren Charles, but you actually uh, work at the gym also. Isn't that right? Yes, I work there as a personal trainer. Um, tell me a little bit about uh, working working at the same place you train. I mean, you, you obviously love the gym. Well, basically, I feel like I live there. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, I used to I used to work there and train at different gym, and uh, then the gym was closed, so I transferred and started training there. But you know, sometimes I feel like it's it's a little bit too much. <laughs> but yeah. I love the gym. I love the equipment, and you know. It's a great it's a great gym for competitors. There's a lot of people that train very seriously there, and I think that helps, right? Yeah, it's a it's a really serious gym. It's not like a social club, you know, like you go to LA Fitness and everybody's just talking and walking. You right. know, this is like real stuff. Yeah, and that's and that's a good thing if you're competing uh, on your level. You know, you want to be around other people that are not joking around. I would imagine. Yeah, and I, I everybody know me. Everybody know when I train, I train. You know, I just put my headphone and my head on so I don't talk to anybody. Nobody bother me. Everybody go, you know, away from 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 my space. So, you know, I like it, yeah. Okay, so one of the things when, we were, when you were trading and we talked a little bit, you were telling me about always wanting to move to Florida. And you're from originally from the Czech Republic. Tell me a little bit about um, deciding to want or, or always wanting to move to Florida and how you ended up coming here and becoming a pro. Well, you know, I, I when I was 15 years old, I, I started, uh, you know, dreaming about being a professional bodybuilder, actually, you know, and uh, because I was living in a communism, and, you know, there was communism sure. in my country, right. we weren't allowed to do anything, we weren't allowed to go anywhere, there was no magazines, there was no gyms, so, you know, I, I had a friend who brought me magazines from Germany, and I started learning German to learn a little bit about it, and that was my dream since I was 15 years old, so, you know, there was a lot of obstacles in my life, which I couldn't do it sooner, but when I was basically 10 years ago, I I packed my stuff and I left, and that was it. Wow, and uh, and you came to America. Now, when you came to America, you were already an IFBB pro, isn't that right? Uh, no, actually, I came here with the dream to become oh, okay. IFBB pro, and uh, I just um, I just started competing in Czech, but I moved here, and for two years I was basically traveling back for back uh, and forward. Uh, you know, I was going back to Czech to compete, so I, I was, um, you know, going to Czech Republic Championship, World Championship, European Championship, all the you know smaller shows uh, until I, I I I got my pro card. So it took me two years going back and forward. Wow, wow. Um, so you got your your pro card in figure, right? And then you competed yeah. in many, many. People don't realize how many professional figure shows you've done. Exactly how many are you up to? I've done 32 pro shows. Wow, wow. Uh, basically 29 pro shows in a, in a figure. And now I switch for physique. So yeah. let's talk about that. You know, um, you did all these pro shows in figure. It must have been, uh, I don't know, I, I would imagine it would be a tough decision to switch over with the new division starting. Was it a tough decision, and are you happy that you made it? Well, you know what? I, as I said, I always wanted to be a bodybuilder. I wanted to have, you know, bigger muscle. And uh, figure was basically, you know, I, I loved doing it, but I felt like I reached uh, the top. I, I reached the point when I felt like I can come in even better shape anymore and the, the physique was it's it's new for me it's um, i'm so excited about it because you know i can work harder and i can keep improving and um i'm, I'm very excited about it um now the difference between the physique that you brought to figure and the physique that we're going to see here in sarasota what is the biggest difference well you know i'm, I'm i think i have a i have a great symmetry so if I put a little bit more muscle on that body of mine, I think that's gonna be perfect. You know, for a figure, I, I, I they were they, I was trying to get smaller and smaller, but because my body type, I couldn't get any more smaller and leaner, and I was killing myself with the with the diet and cardio, and it was so unnatural for me. 
So this is, I enjoy it better because I can eat a little bit more. I can train hard, which I love. And I have a room to improve. And that's my goal. You, you know, you're right. In figure, it's one of those things is that it's once you get to a certain point, it's not, there's really nowhere else to go. And obviously in women's physique, you've got a whole new uh, challenge. Let's talk about the right. Sarasota show for a minute. How did you decide to do this one? It's, it's only what? Uh, we're both living in Boca now, so it's what four hours or so from uh, from here. It's like three hours, yes. Oh, good, yeah. even better. So, was it? It's just the proximity. You wanted to do the show as close as possible, or have you been planning this one for a while? No, no, no. I've been planning this. Actually, you know, I've done Tampa show, and uh, this was on my on my list. And uh, this is going to be my last show for this year, and then I'm just gonna, you know, try to make improvements I need to make for next year. So I, I figure, you know, it's already here. I spoke with the girls a long time ago when they told me they're going to do the show. And I was like, you know what? I'm in it. I'm live close by. I'm going to do it. So, you know, it's, it's, it's home. So I'll do it. Now, you've been dieting a long time. How long have you been, uh, you've been dieting here? Yeah, I've been on the diet since January. And um, actually, I, I did a good job. I gained like nine, mu- nine, nine pounds of muscle. Oh, we just saw you posing, and I got to tell you, you look great. We're going to be rooting for you in Sarasota. And I have to thank you very much for coming on the Iron Asylum. So this is my cardio machine. It calls Kangoo Shoes, Kangoo Jumps. Uh, they've been invented for people after surgeries, um, for a spaceman when they come back from uh, the space. It's 80% less impact on your joints, lower back, knees, hips, and you burn 30% more calories. It's amazing workout. It's a core workout. It's a whole body workout. Great for legs, glutes. After one hour doing these, you're done for the day. You don't have to do anything anymore. But it's fun because your body produces a lot of endorphins when you jump, you know, it's like on a trampoline. It's fun cardio. It's hard. It's the best. I just love those. And then, if you don't want to go for a run, then you can bounce in a place, doing all kinds of moves. Pull up, down, go back. Up. And let me tell you, it's really hard. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> 